Hey everyone, it's Matt. So as a follow-up to my uh, recent video about the Ross gouging machine and centering the guide with the bed, um, I wanted to make this video because I just was working on my other machine. I'm lucky enough to have two of these. And I did the test with the cigarette paper and I found that the bed was not centered. So what I like to do uh, when I find that it's not centered, um, and by the way, the reason I was checking it is because I was gonna put a new blade in this machine. Um, what I like to do when I find that these are not centered is just take the bed off because as you can see there's, there's oil on this, but there's also just some grime in there, some cane dust. The bed, uh, or sorry, on the base where the bed sits, there is some grime, cane dust, old oil. So I wipe that off really good. I'll also go under here, just kind of wipe out the holes where the screws go. And then this is the part that really needs cleaning. Under the clips, can you see all of that cane dust in there? Um, that I can just kind of wipe off. And then I like to take a brush and just kind of move the clip around, get in there with a brush, do the other side. And you can look at the top where the spring is. It looks pretty clean, pretty clean, and get that all done. Um, that can cause a buildup of that cane dust if it gets really bad, can kind of cause your clip to not sit down properly I found and uh, then it doesn't hold hold your cane in place very well so um, I'm trying to think I don't actually want to take the clips off for this to take the clips off it's pretty easy for instance if you're if your uh, spring breaks um, you just poke these through actually it's this way poke that little pin through these are not threaded or anything, you just poke the pin through and you have to detach one of the springs um, from the clip, pull it out, and then when you're ready to go, there's a hole in the um, clip and you push that pin back through. So, um, now I'm gonna <clears throat> clean off the base of this again. nice and clean and I will put just a dab of oil on this um, that's way too much I'm just gonna kind of do that so um, I don't know why I just like to now it's time to replace our bed and these are the screws and washers that hold the bed in place. I'll kind of clean those off too. They're a little grimy. And then you can slip washers on and put them up into the bottom of the bed. Now, one thing to be careful of, well, not really careful, but just mindful of, um, I have installed this before this way and you can't put your roller plate on if you do it that way. So just be sure that the threads here are sticking out. And I'm gonna find the threads in the bottom of the, oops, didn't quite get that one. Find the threads in the bottom of the bed. You can have your Allen wrench to help. A good tip to make sure that you don't cross thread your screws is, um, I'll show you in just one second. Cross threading is when the threads of the screw and the threads of the hole are not lined correctly and the screw is in the hole but you're kind of rubbing the threads against each other the wrong way. Um, a tip for that is to actually find 
the threads by going backwards. You know, you get your screw in a little bit, go backwards, and that can help you thread it properly. Okay. Now I'm gonna loosen these just a little bit so that the bed can kind of float around um, on the base there. And now I'll show you that sandwiching thing that I talked about in the other video. See now the bed can move pretty freely. Um, I'll get it roughly centered. Make sure that my guide and bed are both free of dust because I want them to sandwich together really well. Now the guide is kind of holding the bed in place because again the guide and the bed fit together perfectly. And I kind of just move it around in here, push down, pushing down very hard right here, still pushing down, gripping with my hand, and I'll change hands because I'm right-handed and I need to tighten my screws with my right hand, and I'll just cinch these down. Again, not trying to prove my strength by cinching them down as tight as possible, just getting them tight. And if all went well, we can check our four corners of our bed and guide and they should line up. Now, oh, I might've gotten lucky here. Nope, see that one's loose. This one is loose, this one is tight. So I'm guessing that this one would be tight and this one would be loose. And we can check that. It's not too bad, it grips and this is okay, but I'm not happy with that. I'm gonna do it again. Um, I don't feel the need to make you guys sit here and watch the whole thing again, so um, I'll just say once you've done that and you're happy with the way the paper grips, then clean off your uh, roller plate, put it back on, tighten it down, and you're ready to put your blade in. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you have questions. I hope this was helpful. Um, it's just nice to do this. I do it every time I put a new blade in just to check. Um, or I check it every time I put a new blade in. And if the alignment is off, I just do this process. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have questions and have a great day.